guys welcome back to electric car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys in today's video guys we'll be working here on a bmw 46 and if you guys have a, a traction control light brake light uh, let's say tpms light on and you have a specific code guys that uh, it's listed in the title of the video i think it was 5d8c and a few more codes stay with us we'll show you guys how to fix that and what causes that code We'll be having guys more than 200 videos on BMW 46. Our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So all we need guys in return, subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below and let us know what you think. So let us explain now what we're talking about. We'll go ahead, start the car guys and show you what we're talking about. Okay, check it out now. You can guys definitely see traction control light, brake light and TPMS light, all that is on. So I'll go ahead, turn it off, turn the ignition on only. We'll be using here guys Maxicom. Okay, you can find that computer listed in the description of the video below guys. This one works on any car pretty much, not just BMWs. Let me show you how many cars you can do with that thing, it's amazing too. And instead of manually selecting it, what I usually do, I click VIN. Auto detect, it's going to detect everything on its own and it's going to tell us which vehicle we have. Otherwise, okay, all we have to do is uh, select uh, your year, make, make BMW year 2005 in our case. Then you have to select uh, which configuration, 330CI, and we need to check which engine you have and it gets complicated. So what I usually do guys, I just click that button and it uh, decodes everything, it takes just a few seconds as you can see, but the computer does everything on its own. So we'll get the most accurate connection to the car computer. We confirm that this is the correct VIN number, E46 330 CI M54 engine 2005. This is the correct one, it always asks you to confirm and then guys, I'm going to show you okay what codes we have it says turn the ignition off wait 10 seconds and turn it back on so we're going to turn it off wait about 10 seconds why does that so uh, almost every bmw i know this it does that so it can secure the connection and all that stuff turn it back on click ok here ok again and then we're going to select diagnostics control unit and here we will select uh, chassis. The traction control is part of the chassis system ABS DSC. These two guys is listed in the description of the video below and check it out. Not very expensive for all the things that you can do. It's connecting now and it's going to give us the option to read the codes. Okay, so I can read codes here and the code that we get right now you're going to see it says 5D8C. Okay, ABS DSC dynamic stability control sensor timeout so what that means guys let us explain you now and we'll show you what needs to be done so if you guys remove your front left seat the driver's seat you lift the carpet up that seat is already disconnected all the way we have a video how to remove it it's on the channel you will see here in the corner you're going to have your traction control module guys a traction control sensor excuse me that's on the module right there and this is your uh, traction control module, the one known as your 8 sensor. And <clears throat> this sensor will cause guys that cold. Either you have a loose connection, okay, right here is the connection. Okay, let me show you on the back. Okay, you either have a loose connection here, and I will need somebody to hold the camera for one second so I can disconnect it. Okay, and you have six wires in our case or you have a bad sensor now sometimes you will get some water here or uh, humidity that will build up and it will cause corrosion in the wires and as a result the sensor will not work so you always want to clean those check inspect use uh, um, a wire cleaner and all that stuff and see if that will fix uh, fix your problem in our case loose connection guys fixes the problem and i'll show you why we have it connected now. It's recommended to always disconnect your car battery when you mess with that system. And I'm going to turn. Okay, let's start the car without deleting the codes now. Everything's still there. All the lights are still there. So what I'm going to do, turn the ignition on. Okay, like that. 
Ignition is on. We'll go back. I want to re read the codes again. Okay, and see now, guys. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, we get one more code. What do we have, have that code? Because transverse acceleration sensor. Okay, it, probably I put it sideways, and as a result, we get the code as well. And I'm going to go ahead. Let me read it now. You can see, guys so many codes just by moving it. So you need to make sure that you secure that on the car. And once you secure it and all that stuff, okay, you're going to just click erase codes after that. Codes have been successfully erased. Okay, and after driving the car for a little bit, okay, because you will need to initialize all the sensors, put everything together, all that will be gone. No fault codes detected and our lights are off, as you can see like that. So hopefully guys the video will be helpful, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.